Hey guys, this is Jay Kapoor here back again with another video and today in this video I am going to show you the official CM12 ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. So this ROM was created a uh, way back earlier but at that point of time there was a RIL bug in this ROM and which means that you can't use mobile network if you flash this ROM. So now all the bugs are fixed including the RIL bug. And in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step detailed guide how to flash this ROM properly. And in the later part of this video, I'm going to show you the review of this ROM. What works in this ROM, what not, what is so cool about this ROM and what is not. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. First of all, you have to root your Redmi 1S. Rooting will not void your warranty, so you can go ahead, root it, and install TWRP recovery. You can flash any recovery, but I prefer TWRP recovery. From that recovery, we can flash ROMs. So, I will leave a video of my friend how to root it and how to install TWRP recovery in the description below. You can click and watch it. So after you know that you have rooted your device and installed TWRP recovery so you have to download the ROM package and the G apps first so to do this what you have to do is to just click the first link in the description so download the ROM package and transfer it into your internal storage and download the G apps package also and transfer it to your internal storage so after that, you have to boot into TWRP recovery. To boot into TWRP recovery, what you have to do is to just power off your device. And once your device is powered off, press the volume up and the power button at the same time for like 5 seconds. And once you see the me logo, release the keys and you will be in the team win recovery project, which means TWRP recovery. From this recovery, we have to back up our system first. Because if you don't like the CM12 ROM for some reason, you can always restore to your current system. So just click on backup and swipe to backup and this will create a full backup of your ROM. And once your backup is completed, hit the back button and go to wipe options and swipe and here you will find a swipe to factory reset. Just, just do a factory reset and after that click the back button. Now go to install and find the package where you save the ROM file and click on that and the ROM will be flashed in around 15 to 20 seconds. It can take more time but don't worry it will be flashed and after it's flashed now again hit the back button go to install again and locate where you save that gapps package. There is one more file which is update super su. If you want to root your lollipop rom, to install it just download the update super su from the link down below in the description and transfer it to your internal memory. Go to install and locate where you download it and click on that and swipe to confirm flash. Now wait for like 5 to 10 minutes because the first initial boot of rom may take 5 to 10 minutes and after that you will be able to use the rom. And after that you will be welcomed with a setup screen of Cyanogen Mod 12. You have to select the English language next and set up your Wi-Fi and Google account and all that. Once you are set up now you are in the CM12 ROM. From now onwards I will talk about this ROM. So everything is working perfectly in this ROM like Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working perfectly working because I have received a file and I have sent one file also. Mobile data is working. Both the sims are working and in both the sims data pack is also working. So let's talk about the ROM now. The ROM is pretty responsive and there are no lags whatsoever. The ROM is kept minimal stick as there are no bloatware. There are no app crashes whatsoever, the ROM is stable. There is an audio FX app for controlling the audio and there is a browser to surf the web and there are calculator, calendar, clock and there some 
basic apps i don't like the cyanogen mod file manager so i installed ex file explorer and there are some google apps which we flashed in the flashing process in twrp the messaging app works fine the dialer also works fine if you are missing the exposed modules that were available in android kitkat and not available on the in the android you can swipe from left a great to go news for you dialer. it's now officially available and you can swipe from right to you go can into the camera by the fm radio is also working on fine also if you, you connect the headset you can click now on the screen the synergen mod well is highly customizable you can change the battery icon to the clock location as you liking by going into the settings otg functionality in this rom is supported notification led light is working fine and the battery life is also okay you can move apps and games to memory card also by going into settings the apps you can double tap on the home button to wake up the screen and double tap on the status bar to sleep the phone so overall this rom is perfect for users who want to experience the lollipop that google has offer with some cyanogen mod tweaks so now let's talk about the few cons that this rom has so the first con is the camera the camera of this rom is not up to the mark Yes, it's same as CM11 I think so. The pics taken by this camera app is not up to the mark. It's same as CM11. You have to compromise on the camera. And the second thing is the speaker output is a bit low. And the third minor minor bug is the keyboard. So the stock keyboard that this ROM has sometimes it didn't register my strokes. So when I type something it didn't reflect. This issue can be fixed by going into Play Store and downloading any third party keyboard app like SwiftKey and it will be fixed. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you do like this then please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and please like this video if you like it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Jay Kapoor signing off.